Exactly. I can understand they, that. They changed it and they said, well, maybe they really didn't understand the design, but that's all. I mean, it's, it's their car. Okay, let's, uh, you, you talked about the process of designing a car up in here, the Dayton Mazo. How about Ferrari? Uh, you said, you know, uh, Dave Tommaso didn't breathe down your neck. What was the situation at Ferrari? Well, Ferrari, that was a different thing. Ferrari, the 330, for example, the, the 332 plus 2 was a four, 2 plus 2 car with four headlights in the front. And uh, when Ferrari first looked at the model, when he came by, Peter Brito looked at the car. The first thing he said, I wasn't there, but they told me, he said, it looked too American. I don't know why, but he said, the four, light, four headlights, even white. He went to the back of the car, well, this looks too American also. Here I go on all the way from Detroit to Italy to design Italian cars. Ferrari comes along and says, it looks too American. <laughs> so, uh, Sergio Pinaparina, who was in charge of the project, said, go wait, he'll come back, and maybe you'll like it. If he doesn't like it, then we'll just have to change it. So he came back the second time. It was a little bit more mellow. So they just left the car there, and it took him three and a half months to finally say, Okay, okay, the design, go into the production. Now that car became his own private car, and he used for a year and a half to, you know, as his own private driver, you know, his car. So he finally, he finally came around to sit, you know, like in the car, because it took him a long time. Or subconsciously, he wanted to drive an American car. No, not really. No, no, he didn't know. Of course, no, he didn't. No, I'm just they didn't tell him that an American designed the car. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's interesting because when I've looked at that car over the years, the last thing I ever thought was it looked American. Well, I thought I had the same opinion also, but um, maybe Ferrari, uh, I don't know why. It's a mystery to me. What, what's your most uh, interesting story that you could take away from a time at Ferrari? I mean, you had to you had to witness some things there that maybe haven't been put in print. That, uh, well, uh, I'll tell you a story about another Ferrari design. The, the, uh, 375 California. Uh, now, the 375 California was a big car, a long car that had long rubber hangs, and uh, we might made a model of the car in plastic, which is white. So when we made that model, this, this did not involve Ferrari, but it involved Tina Farina. Tina Farina came around to see the car. He was semi-retired at the time. He came out to see the model, and he said it was a little too fat on the side of the car. It was, we, we had done that on purpose because the car was very long. We wanted to blow the sides of the car so it looked a little bit shorter. But he came along one day in the morning and said, you know, it's, it's just too fat. We had to take three or four millimeters off the sides of the car. Now, if you work in plaster, if you know how to work in plaster, you have to take all the plaster off, put the plaster back on again, and then scrape it down to the, the right dimension. It takes about a week to do that. So the people inside the shop said, we're not going to do that. We're just going to paint the car a dark color. He'll come by and he won't notice. So after they painted the car, sure enough, the guy comes by. He the car next on the flight. In the morning, this is the morning now. He comes by and said, you see, it looks 